bitch. I'm starting to get busy. Shorts in a cold rain. <laughs> He's very sugar. 
But the old man's always saying, how can he wear shorts? It's cold outside. Yeah. God damn it. That was my fucking knee. Good night, Mike. This is what I fucking needed early. Goddamn handle. Damn it. That motherfucker hurts. Oh. Oh, this is the cold front. Yeah, like I said, today was the last day. You would not have thought. And today I got a wet camera lens. Today was today. When I, I didn't even think it was supposed to be. Now we're talking to rain Monday morning, is it? Not a clue. I, not. I don't think so. I'm going to make you all that much more miserable. If it does, it does. I hope not. Well, at least you'll be driving out of it. Look at it that way. Well, it's or are you driving or flying? Well, no, driving down yeah. and probably, possibly driving back, probably, I have nowhere to particularly go or see or do. Um, I mean, I always have sights and shit, but this time I think I'm actually flying back. Yeah. And I, I know I know I'm flying back. Didn't make a plane reservation. Uh, and, she, and see, Lisa, she, she's a little crazy this one, but she's at least, she comes through with the money this one. Because then usually she's like, you know, try to leave the plane ticket around a few hundred or something, which is about right for one way with about a month in advance the last couple of three years. That's about what that is. Well, and this is the Hillary lover? Yes, uh, oh, one God. of many. So, but then there's one of many. But now, she like begged me, she said, oh, when are you going back? I go, uh, and then she said, I really need you around the house. And I'm like, okay, she, she stay a little bit longer. I said, yes, I can. It's good for me because then I get to go over. And do a bunch of shit, so she'll probably pay me, you know, you know, some money during the day to go over there and do. Well, whatever. I would hope she's paying you. Oh, some yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're goddamn right, yeah. Doing fucking houseboy work and you're not getting paid. Fuck that. Yeah, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. But I got a lot of work to do around my parents' house, too. But Don't uh, they live in a condominium where all the gardening and shit is taken care of? No. They have to do their own fucking lawns and stuff? No, yeah, they have people hire contractors. That's what I was going to say. I, I thought Chills that was taken is, care of. Heritage Hills is taken care of. No, they don't live in a condo. They got a house. Oh, okay. I thought they were in a condo. No. Well, that's, uh, and then you get a ticket in the mail or you get in the association comes around and busts your balls if you don't. Uh, in Florida? Yeah. Huh. Tell them to move north. Huh. They don't do that shit in Northern. I got a guy I know in Northern Florida is always singing the praises of living there. He says mostly because... The New York City assholes, they stay further south because they don't go to North Florida. No, this one you gotta, you gotta keep. There's other things that are included. It's a, it's a gated community, though. Yeah. You don't got riffraff going in there. It's a retirement community. Well, no, it's gated, not retirement. It's a gated community. Anybody can live in there, but but it's, it's gated with security. Both places, both both where my mom and that, that lady, well, both places got that. But the, the groundskeeper is your own. Huh. So the, that's how that works. But she said, you know, she's in a panic, so she begged me to stay. And then before I could even say anything about a plane ticket, because now the problem with that now is that I'm, I'm calling for a plane ticket at the last minute when we figure out now it's going to be that much more. But she said, y'all to put it on a charge card, and I said, I may rent a car, I may go back, I don't know yet. So she'll probably double my plane ticket. Or something, you know. Mm. Oh, but she's gonna be fucking bitching because I'm gonna be late Monday morning. But I can't stiff these two freaking people because of her, because technically that's on me. You know, and I had 10, I had 10:30 in the morning in the palm of my hand this morning. 
I had it in the palm of my hand, and she, she backed it off. And I'm like, shit, I can't with this. I'll go to Fireside Fine. So I'm going to be a little late. You know, it's been 9 01. The phone's going to ring. Where are you? Oh, God. And it's not like she's like calm about it. This is the one that drinks. Uh huh. If I could do it all over again, I just would have said my friend doesn't get off till 9.30, quarter to 10. I should, uh, that's what I should have went with. That way she really couldn't have changed it and then 45 minutes really wouldn't have killed her as much. But now but now I get to put the car in the garage. Uh, so the only so the only thing that I leave out of the equation is is Jane now. Now and I but now I but I get to bypass her. So when I go doing 90 miles an hour coming back from LaGuardia Airport. Carmel and from Carmel back there in fucking hills, then I don't gotta go wait for Jane to get in the car and go down the chairlift and take another fucking hour to, to, to you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, directly right right here I am. Man, it's coming down. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna rain like this. I don't think so either. I didn't think it was gonna rain at all. Ooh. I hope she takes the wheel first thing in the morning. Because sometimes she does. She's like, oh, I'm going to drive. And I'm like, okay. But I kind of actually the way I hope she does. Her car? Yeah. Well, the, what kind this, of car is it? This, this, is, this is one of 11 cars I'm supposed to get, which all fell through. This is the one. This is the 2010 Toyota Corolla. Ah. No, Camry. This is the okay. Camry. This is the 2010 Camry with 55,000 miles on it. So again, this is the car number uh, 10 here, car number 11. get back at least you have three or four more walking deaths yeah which hopefully improve uh, yeah I know that la yeah that last one was kind of made no sense I mean who was writing this shit they just I don't know where they get their information well, it from ended or good. It, it ended good at the end of the season and they left you a cliffhanger that I was kind of hoping that we get back to fucking zombies and some kind of fucking my prediction was there's going to be a big ambush before the uh, skull bashing and nobody would have left the show, and then the hilltop people would have rallied. They well, would. this this show somebody always leaves. Every season somebody's always leaving. But the, you know now it's just too many tangents. It's just I mean come on, they're stealing beds and candlesticks. Who cares about that shit? The world is full of stuff. Most of humanity's dead. You want their stuff? Go take it. It's all over the place. Go loot the biggest museums in the fucking world. If you want to? It's all right there. You can just pick it up and walk away with it. No one's gonna say anything. They're yeah. all dead. They have to kill a few zombies to get to it, but other than that, well, so what? And guns? Come on. Why Why even bother? We're taking all your guns, you can't attack us? Come on, we're going to go up the road to a, a big fucking uh, National Guard base. We're going to strip all their guns. Well, maybe there's a firearms manufactured nearby. Gun stores, every fucking house has guns. There's guns in the cars along the roads because people took them when they fled. Ammo is not a problem either. Not really. Come around the walkers. Yeah, yeah, they're probably walking, walking around with 
All kinds of shit. Well, the reason I carry had the uh, empty gun, the locker there is probably just That's shooting. from the ambush, the, the shootout they had. He was one of those people killed. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, and then that was it. And then he, he got a gun on him. Are there no Navy bases in Georgia? Actually, I'm sorry, they're not in Georgia anymore. They're in Virginia. Virginia and we yeah. know there's Navy bases in Virginia. You're in Alexandria now. And they're apparently fairly close to D.C. Well, let's see. Actually, no. If they're in, if they're in Alexandria, they're a few hours. Or two yeah, and that's half. close enough. I mean, you know, it's yeah, not like they're yeah. a continent away. Yeah. There's all kinds of military and installation yeah, and law that. enforcement installations in Virginia. Yeah. Every one of them loaded with firearms of any kind you want. Food is the problem, not firearms. Pick those up anywhere. In fact, a lot better than what they had. Go ahead, take my pistols, little pitchfork rifles. I'm gonna come back with a fucking M60 or a 50 cal or a law rocket, and a whole case of fucking grenades and a fucking Stinger missile if I fucking feel like it. In fact, I might just go once the further get myself a tactical fucking nuke. Stick it in a fucking truck loaded with food supplies and give it to you. Ticking. And the idea that Negan is untouchable? Come on, you can assassinate the son of a bitch. Easily enough. Killing somebody is not that hard. Just hide and wait for him. He's going to step outside, take a piss sooner or later, and pop him. And I don't buy the large group thing either. Not in that world. One heart attack in the night. Mm. You know, that's all it takes. That's what happened in the prison. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Exactly. When I got sick. That illustrates why you just don't have large groups. Well, apparently they said, he said this is following a comic book, right? Yeah, well, which you, you know, at least you think they would have some writers there that have some knowledge of the subjects they're writing about. All right, they're writing about fanciful shit, zombies or whatever, but when they're not writing about the fanciful shit, like in a survival situation, what would be, you know, what you'd be going after and stuff well, like that. how the ratings now? Are they, are they they're dipping, yes. Because everybody's kind of bored with the fact that this, this is a show, about, a show about zombies. It's a little bit light on zombies. I mean, there's plenty of shows out there about kill, people killing other people. That's common. You know, we just watched one. You know, there's plenty of those. This was supposed to be a little bit of a different thing, and uh, it's not anymore. There's simply not enough zombies. You know, this, in the first, in the second season, they, they were getting good with the human, with the with zombie waves, the giant, you know, hmm. packs of zombies. That is what I would expect to see in that situation because there are so many dead. We're talking millions and millions of dead people out there walking around. I don't care how many you shoot, you shoot them all fucking day and all fucking night. You're not going to make a dent in that. They're going to keep on coming. You know, it's like North Korea in 1951, the Chinese wave attacks. They just keep on coming, endless, endless, endless. That's what the zombies should be like on this show. Yeah, we're only seeing them in ones and twos, you know. Except uh, for the little... horde, and, then, and, then, and they knocked the wall down that one time. Yeah, and that was it. That was good. One pathetic, and that wasn't really much of a fucking horde. Being that close to so many metropolitan areas of Virginia now, there should be millions of zombies, not a few hundred. They should be moving like a locust plague across the land, you know? You ever see that thing in Australia when the mice go nuts? Mm. And they fucking overpopulate tremendously, and there's like literally hundreds of thousands swarming all over farms and silos and shit? That's what it should be like with the zombies. Now, that would probably break the bank for extras and stuff, you know? But they can do some CGI magic and make one extra look like 50 and do something like that. Do it like they did in uh, World War Z. You know, that is the kind of zombies I would expect to see, World War Z. That style. In that world. And all of a sudden we're seeing all these large groups of people and that's not really likely. Uh, everybody literally barricades themselves into room at night by themselves, you know, and that's it. You come out in the morning strapped and fucking, you know, doing Either a I think the only, thing I, can, the only thing I can figure out they're doing here is they're trying to piss off the audience so fucking much with this Negan is that everybody wants him dead. That's the only thing, and then they're, they're gonna, there's going to be an up or revolt or a revolution against this asshole. The hilltop people and the 
King King is uh, Zika virus, whatever his name is, and his yeah. people, and everybody kind of going to a you know, to a revolt or something. Well, isn't that, well? They actually are feeding them uh, infected. Pig, yeah. Right? Enjoy your pig. You know, in any situation where order breaks down and government goes away, the Negans of the world do come out of the woodwork. That's expected. You know, they do. And some of them are religious nuts, others are just plain crazies. And half of them are forced into it, apparently. Dwight. Dwight? Yeah, the uh, waffle iron face. Oh, not him. I'm talking about Negan himself. Oh, the yeah. strongman leader. Yeah. You know, the psychopathic leader that rises up and forms a group and then terrorizes everybody else. That's expected. Eventually, you know, things get bad enough, they get overthrown, killed by their followers when they, their promises don't come through. When they run out of victims, basically, and people to take from. There's no more food, no more booze, no more drugs. Then these guys get killed. But the idea that they're somehow low on supplies, you know, in a world where only maybe one or two percent of the population still exists, the dead don't use food. All those supermarket warehouses packed full of canned goods, military bases with millions of MREs, FEMA stations. You can eat for a fucking most of a lifetime. And of course, wild game like that deer, you know. I think, yeah, I think what they're trying to do is just piss, piss off the audience. Is what they're trying to do. Well, they're doing it not really good. Everybody loves Negan. Who the fuck's emailing you in the middle of the night? Mike. Why? What happened? I don't know. Better pull over and find out. Did you leave something in his house? Yeah. Must be important if he's trying to get a hold of you. Maybe he's trying to warn us about something. right in front of the shop door, it's there now. Huh. Maybe somebody junked something. Huh. All right, I'll go to the shop before we go. We're still 20 minutes or so more from the shop. Take a look. I remember that one night the yard got hit in, the, in a rainstorm and all the hood ornaments were gone and all the hoods were open. Oh yeah. drove a car and it jumped it. Oh, what a 
cars out tonight. You no, know, we're not really that late. It's, it's only one o'clock. Here. What's it say? When it pulled in, it occupied at least two tons. Uh -huh. We'll check it out when we get there. They also ignore the obvious. These people could simply just pick up and leave. Get in their vehicles and drive away somewhere. Go back to Georgia if they want to. They know where they are there. You know, they don't have to stay there. There's not that many of them left now. and They don't have any guns to schlep around and most of their shit is gone. So just get in the vehicles and go. Outside of this Negan character's area. Back down where they came from. Or some other part of the fucking country.
Well, we're in a drought up here, aren't we? Yeah, not really, but it's been drier than usual. Yeah, we have had some rain. This is the second time this week it's rained, actually. Well, it's old and rotten. It either shattered when it hit the ground or it's been run over too many times. That's all. Windy enough. What? Well, there. 
Well, we'll find out what they want or need. Yeah, yeah, alright. Yeah, so I can tell they're still there. Yes. What are we doing here at this hour of the night? Probably pulled off with the rain. But they shouldn't be under the cameras if they're doing that, and I want to find out. What are we going to say to them? I'll say, what the heck are you doing here? So look up there, see the cameras? Fortunately for you, it's me and not the sheriff. I got my flashlight in the car, but I took the umbrella out. I like, literally emptied the car today. Yeah. You know, I'm needing much. Because like, like I said, I got to pick up one lady run her down to Westchester. That was coincidental. That was good. That's actually good because I'm going to probably get 30, 40 bucks for that. Because huh. I have to, because that's about when I was going to leave anyway. Because, well, no, actually, no. That would, that's, yes, that's right. Yeah, it's Monday morning, right? That's when I have to leave. Then, um, because if, if the lady across the street didn't need a ride, I would still have to be leaving it at six or earlier, or actually earlier. Because it actually, way earlier, because fucking the flight comes in at, um, lands at 8.30. And, and Jim, I swear to fucking God, this better not be a delayed flight. I will be mad as a fucking hornet. If, if, if I then a two-hour delay, I might even actually say, you know what? And they say we're delayed an hour. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text and say, you know what? Catch a limo, it's on me. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, catch a limo, turn around, come back. Okay, I can, you know, I'm, I'm cutting it as it is, but with these people, you know, with this, with this jam, I'm supposed to be there at 9 o'clock, and I gotta deal with it, and no fucking way I'm already gonna be an hour, you know, late without the delay. So, shit, you know, that's the thing that's in the back of my mind. Then I should have no traffic coming back, it's all going down. You know, people say, I gotta, if it's Monday through Friday, and you say you have a 9.30 flight, I say, I gotta, I gotta have you in the car by 5 in the morning. That's too early. Yeah, I know, it's, it's by the time. I get you in the car and get you down there. It's going, it's already going on 8 30. It's going on like 8 8 30, quarter to 9, 8 o'clock. It's a shock how long it takes to go 45 miles. You know, from Heritage Hills down to LaGuardia, you'd be shocked at that hour. Now, if there's nobody on the road, like right now, huh, you get you down there in five seconds. One, two, three, without even speeding. With all that bumper to bumper and shit. You know, coming back, I'll be stomping on it a little bit, but all right. Now is we we getting rain, hail, snow here? I don't know what that is. That's that's like a rain it's like snow. Mixed, yeah, it's yeah. Very heavy drops. All right, what are we doing? Let's take a look. Oh, I got a big mag light. Wanna yep. use it? I'll use that. That I left in the car. <laughs> yes, I did. For some reason, that I left came in on the floor, and see, uh, I got the upgraded. Uh, yeah, yeah, got the upgraded thing there. <laughs> Not the old school. No, oh, I mailed off your flashlight. Flashlight? Yeah, you gave me a flashlight. Did I? Yep. Huh. It's got two batteries that are totally corroded in there. Huh. See who we got. Get him. <laughs> yeah. Sick him.
on them like them, like white on rice, what'd they say? They're just getting laid. Hold on, you got a pen? Yes, I do. Where? Down there. You call the cops? No, I just want to take down a plate number. They're not a problem. I see what they're doing clearly enough. What'd you say? What, uh, what's what they, that number? HJE? Uh, HJE. HJE. 7677. 7677 New York. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, an an Audi, it's an Audi. It's a Jeep. Jeep. Oh, it's an Audi Jeep? Or is no, it, no, it's a Jeep. Oh, it's a Jeep. I see. It's a Jeep. All right, that's good. Okay. Mystery solved. Well, what did they say? Oh, we just had to crash. Yeah, they're both in the back. He's pulling on his pants. Give me a fucking break. Wasn't did, born fucking did you yesterday. Tell me, did you tell uh, Mike they're on, uh, tell them they're on video? Yeah. What did I they told say? Him. I said, you're under the video cameras. You made me come all the way back down from upstate to see what was going on over here. I'm gonna put your flashlight in the back. Oh, here, I think that. Yeah, yeah. He's apologized, you know. He's oh man, you know, we were tired. We had to crash a little bit. I said, yeah, you're under better video surveillance. And yeah, they were they were in the back at it. I figured as much when I seen the windows all fogged up and shit. Mike, we took care of it. It's just a couple of kids getting laid, that's all. They were in the back, the wind is all fogged up. I figured as much when I pulled up. You know, he opens the door, he's pulling on his pants, all nervous and shit, thinks I'm the sheriff or whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's, oh, we just need to crash for a little while. I said, yeah, okay, that's what you were doing, sure. I said, you realize you're under video cameras over here. I pointed to them, you know, and uh, you know, you probably heard what I said to him on the camera there. Tom, it will be on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be on YouTube, just right. <laughs> yeah, I still have a nice evening. Get back to your business, you know. What they're doing isn't hurting us, so I ain't worried about it. And we just ruined his evening. <laughs> put, put the cooler on that one. You know? We're leaving right now. What's probably going on in there? <laughs> Who knows? All right, Mike, we're back. I'm home. I'm going in, so... Tell what's snowing out here. I think it's snowing a little bit here, yeah. It looks like it. I was really either it's really fat raindrops, one or the other. It's snow, it's a snow rain. Yeah, mix. we I can hear yeah, you can see it splattering in the windshield a little bit. Yeah. Like a half hail snow, some kind of mix like that. Alright, good eyes. That was funny. <laughs> Alright, good night. Bye-bye. Alright. And that's enough adventure for one night. <laughs>